New tonight, a controversial plant in South Memphis that used a toxic chemical to sterilize medical equipment closed its doors for good this week. For years, sterilization services of Tennessee has caused concern among neighbors who worried the plant was giving them cancer by emitting a chemical called ETO. RJ Shakur on their long fight for change. In the heart of South Memphis, a part of town surrounded by industrial infrastructure, the Florida Street facility, Sterilization Services of Tennessee, known for emitting a cancer-causing gas, has finally shut down. So today we celebrate. That gas is ethylene oxide, or ETO. And it's, it can be hazard due to long-term exposure. It's, a, it's kind of a way of sterilizing things without using heat. So it, it made it, in some, some situations, made it optimal. But uh, it's, it's not always optimal if it gets exposed to somebody and on a long-term basis that they're not using protective equipment. Dr. Hooper says the chemical can harm breathing, lung function, and it's tied into certain cancers like leukemia. This closure is a momentary win for longtime residents like Maggie Dawkins. Dawkins says since living in the area, she's had multiple forms of cancer. When I finally heard that these emissions could possibly be causing health issues, I said, oh my goodness. And though this plant is no longer functioning. Here in Southwest Memphis, we have 17 toxic release facilities, right? And sterilization services of Tennessee was one of them. What we do know is that even beyond those 17 toxic release facilities, there are at least 90 other facilities that are pushing out pollutants that pollute our air. And there is an ongoing class action lawsuit filed against this plan. It was filed in August for people looking for financial and medical support with cancer screenings and preventative care. Richard.